Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and on today's video we are going to be extending out our ski resort. Uh, I kind of want to make it like a, I don't know, like where there, where there's like all kinds of different skis and stuff. I also have a really cool idea I want to do. Um, I don't know if it'll make sense but I've seen it before and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, hopefully it'll look okay. But what I'm doing here is I am just extending out kind of that same little like thing I've been doing with the trees and the bushes uh, just to kind of block it off so I don't have to deal with the beach and hopefully it's not that visible I really think it's been doing a good job and I don't know it really does help block everything off and I feel like it looks really good and I have been working non-stop on this so uh, every single day when I get off of work I will come home and I would make a new video and I mean, I have been going <laughs> nonstop, like I was saying. Uh, I've been trying to get as much as I could uh, day by day, and so far it's been going really good. Uh, I honestly didn't know if I wanted to do this at first, just because I was worried with the time, and plus I didn't want to give you guys an unfinished product. Product, but I do feel like uh, this is definitely possible because we do only have like a few more areas left, believe it or not. This is episode 7 already, uh, only have 5 more days left, uh, there is still a lot to come, a lot of big builds that I'm looking forward to, uh, I've been doing a lot of things off camera as well, just to make sure everything can fit properly, and just to measure everything out, because there is so much stuff you can put into a winter island, and yeah, I mean I really didn't think you could do this much in a winter island, just because I'm personally not used to doing anything like this. Because most of the time, I would just like kind of add like maybe like some things for Christmas or like change out like decorations like, you know, each year. Probably some of you guys do that. Uh, I do just because uh, I'm a dork and I just do that for some reason. And I don't know. I really do think this is a really fun challenge. And I hope that you guys do uh, take part in it and actually try it yourself because it does take a lot of time. But I don't know. It's been really fun. And I feel like I, I get to express my thoughts and I don't know what I think a winter island would look like even though it's not like very Christmassy I feel like it has the the festive side the stuff that you wouldn't I don't know you wouldn't think a traditional winter island would have but I don't know kind of my idea on it and I'm curious if you guys are doing a winter island let me know what kind of theme you're doing uh, I don't know. I feel like mine uh, is, I don't know, kind of standard. Some people do this. I've seen some videos on people doing like a more modern one. And I've seen some where they're just like, festive and over the top, which are really enjoyable to watch. Uh, so yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below what you think uh, and what you're building. Uh, just because I'm nosy and I don't know, I want to hear from you guys. And we're finally about to finish up on this area over here. Uh, just again just to block off the beach and stuff just because I'm not dealing with that and it would just take up too much time But turns out everything's looking great. I just need time travel and I everything will fill in and look good Just trust me it, right now. It looks kind of rough But the trees will hide everything and the bushes will give it some color and now for the pathing I just use the snow path I've been using everywhere just to kind of break up the regular snow it just kind of gives it some texture and it makes it look like it's been walked on. Uh, like I said, I want to create kind of like a, a resort within the resort to kind of help, I don't know, make it make sense, I guess, just, just so it's not like a random ski lift out of nowhere. Uh, so I would need a bottom to it. So uh, I did get some track, uh, like path codes, I feel like will work nicely. And then uh, we might use like a little, like a little slope uh, like some people ride like on donuts, uh, some people call them dinghies, I don't really know, uh, whatever you might want to call them, uh, but yeah. Uh, this arch right here, the tree boundaries arch worked perfectly. I rarely get to use that and i really been wanting to use the white variant just because I feel like it's pretty unique and it matches the snow theme very well. And now that that part is done, I went ahead and went in the front of where the uh, ski lift is and started placing down more path and I also extended out the tracks. Uh, I feel like it just made it look a little bit better and 
you know, I feel like the more paths you add, the better the build looks. So I wanted to go for that. And one of these ideas actually came from uh, some videos I watch quite frequently. Uh, there is people that actually build these ice like sculptures like this tree you see here uh, out of chainsaws and I feel like this was kind of a cool idea uh, I wanted to add it uh, some of you guys may know what I'm talking about if not uh, YouTube it it's really cool and takes some really good skill to do this like you see people like make snow sculptures and also ice sculptures uh, but yeah, they use a chainsaw to kind of sculpt it like an object. It's really cool to watch. Uh, I wish I could do something like that. I am not that crafty, especially when it comes to that stuff. Uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. I kind of like how I just used the log like stool for the chainsaws. And when do you ever get to use a chainsaw? Uh, especially in Animal Crossing. Uh, so I, w I definitely wanted to use it. And now I'm just making a little like square path here. And for the rest of the areas, I kind of want to make like a lounge so uh, just like a bunch of like log seats and stuff you know like because if you've been skiing or snowboarding before it can be very tiring and one of the best things ever is when you're done uh, to kind of like take everything off and just hang out and get a hot drink or a hot meal it's very relaxing and uh, I've done this myself uh, so I know this is pretty realistic uh, basically some stuff I've done before personally and I think it's very fitting and I did not notice how much wood to build some of these things it takes like one of these items I made it takes up 30 wood which is insane I know way back when the game first came out getting wood was hard like no pun intended it was hard uh, and I remember a lot of people sold like regular wood and stuff like in discords and stuff for a lot so it's kind of crazy to me you can just go to like an island now and pick up like all the materials you need and if it wasn't for them I definitely wouldn't be able to do this I believe this table costs 30 hardwood which is crazy but it looks really good and fits the theme very well and I think I'll be placing down just some like food and stuff like I was saying before just some snacks and I did uh, create like another like really it's like a large like couch extra long sofa rather and I don't know I think that looks super cool it looks super I don't know it, look, it fits with the snow it kind of gives that like cabin theme it looks really cool I like it and I used that <laughs> so that you law I made it uh, like to like a brown one and I also got out a coffee it's a, a roosters coffee I think it's super cute and the space heater I think that was really fitting uh, something that you would definitely see at a ski resort and now that there isn't really a ski item uh, now there is but it's just like a rack so I'm gonna use sleds instead uh, they look cool and I think it fits the theme good enough uh, and I use these two different like like a it's like a, a log that's been like cut down and then like a log bench uh, just two different variants I think they work together really well and then also a little campfire with some marshmallows because why not and I think it fits the theme pretty good now it's time to fill in the rest of this blank space just with a lot of pathing but this pathing I feel like it works out really good it really does help fill in this area just because it's really plain honestly uh, if it wasn't for this path everything here would look really weird and out of place so I made this path really long just to kind of fill in the area a lot more and just to add another sleigh uh, there is like I know I said this before but there's different color sleds that you can get and they're really cool so if you're looking for different colors make sure you paint it and over here in this little square I did just add like a little kids tent uh, I don't know why not I feel like you could camp here if you wanted to and plus it's cute I really don't get to use tent so like too often and it works and over on the side here uh, just to cover up some more space I did add like another like fake building uh, kind of like a like a shed of a, some sort I don't know it could be used like as a rental for skis so I went ahead and put down all kinds of ski racks over there and then I did the same thing on the other side but I pushed it back just a little bit more so it's not like too centered and I don't know it, lo it looks more realistic I feel like but at the end of all this I might come back around and add some like little touches if I have some time uh, right now I'm a little ahead of time but not by much 
Uh, I'm probably like a day ahead right now. Uh, but things are getting to go a little bit slower now. But yeah, let's go ahead and do our final walkthrough. And that wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's build. It was a whole lot of fun. And thank you for tuning in on day 7. I hope everyone is enjoying this whole series. And everyone's having a good holiday so far. And yeah. Uh, again, thank you so much. And if you liked what you saw today, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time.